so cute. This is Wow! Yummy! <laughs> Sometimes the jokes write themselves. <laughs> Oh, the boba on the side. Wait, what's this? Milk? That's condensed milk. Condensed milk? Wow. <laughs> wow. Do I have any idea what I'm doing? You like that one? Yeah. Okay. I hurt my knuckles. Banging the watermelons. Look at all the stuff we got. We have ice cream, we have cookies, we have meat, watermelon, bread, juice, fabric softener, cheese, frozen mango. Hello, I have my little heat pack with me because I woke up this morning and I got my period, so that was not great. I wanted to show you some things we restocked yesterday for groceries. Firstly, we have our fruit bowl. Right now it's mandarin season, so we got mandarins and some bananas. Also got some bread. This is my current snack rotation. This is melting moments. It was my first time ever trying these and they are really good. Mango was trying to get inside the pantry. So I read this thing that said, turn your anxiety into excitement. And apparently our bodily response to anxiety and excitement are exactly the same in the way like our heart races or the way our bodies like chemicals are responding. But obviously the only difference is the emotion. So with anxiety, we perceive it as a negative emotion and with excitement, we perceive it as a positive emotion. So I am going to start practicing turning my anxieties into excitement. I think naturally I'm a pretty anxious person. I worry about pretty much everything you could possibly worry about. I want to transition that in my mind to be excited for the things I'm being worried about. So for example, yesterday I played my very first ever Oztag game and the whole ride there I was so anxious, I was so nervous, I didn't know if I was going to do a good job, I didn't know if I would have fun, I was just really stressed. What I tried to do was turn that into excitement. So. I'm really excited to play my first game of Oztag. I'm really excited to get in some exercise. I'm really excited to meet new people, try a new sport, push that energy into a different direction. And I want to practice this with bigger things in my life, wedding related things. With wedding planning, I'm like super anxious. I'm thinking there's so much to do, so many things to organize, so many things to plan. And I'm telling myself, no, you're not anxious, you're excited. And I think the idea of changing your mindset on something is really important. I think the minute your mindset shifts to view something in a different way, that's kind of when your entire attitude changes. And because your attitude changes, you can approach the topic completely differently. Now that I'm excited for wedding planning, I have all these ideas, I have newfound confidence, confidence, I have newfound creativity. I want to prioritize and also focus on what I want and what I value rather than what my anxieties are telling me to do based on what other people think. I think a lot of people might get swept away in the chaos of what other people are telling them or what other people are unintentionally encouraging them to do. And I feel like it's really important to take a step back and consider what you really want. Using this opportunity, I am making an announcement. I think the main things for me was, firstly, I wanted to enjoy time being engaged. The thing that I noticed was people will get engaged and they start planning their weddings straight away. They end up super stressed. You don't really get to enjoy just being engaged. And 
I really wanted to enjoy that period. I didn't know exactly how long I wanted that period to be. One year is a good amount of time to plan a wedding. I want to do a lot of DIYs for my wedding. I'm very excited to be hands-on and make things. I've decided that I want around one year to enjoy being engaged and also do as much research and prep as possible on wedding planning and then one year for wedding planning. I am officially going to be a 2026 bride. This is me walking home after work. People will probably think I'm crazy. <laughs> We just came back from dinner. I wanted to have tangoru for dessert. Guess what? We are gonna make it at home. Are you excited? Yeah. So we have all of our ingredients. Firstly, I got these bamboo skewers for our tangoru. Sapphire grapes, way more. White sugar. I literally bought this sugar just to make tangoru and I've had it sitting in my cabinets for for a while just for this special day <gasps> look now she's leaving wet paw prints everywhere hey oh my gosh she left wet paw prints on me so at first I'm gonna make an ice bar so I put water in here and then we're gonna put ice. Mando's drinking the water. Is that okay? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. 
So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep the tangoro by putting the grapes on the skewers and then baby, mm. you're gonna cook the sugar. Yeah. And then go away. We're gonna do a taste test now. Ta -da! There's just chunks of sugar that are really hard. Mm. This one's okay. I got a new robe today, it's from Calvin Klein. It's white and fluffy and I'm obsessed with it. We went to TK Maxx today for the first time. We got a few goodies. It's a onion pod. So basically, this thing stretches out to fit whatever you put inside and this was only six dollars we also got the scalp refresh serum i wanted to try it because it's a leave-in treatment and i love leave-in treatments we got one each and this was only ten dollars at tk maxx i also got this it's a gut restore prebiotic collagen i really need to work on my gut health so i was thinking i could add it into smoothies and things like that it's vanilla bean flavored. This was $25. And for the most exciting part, I have been wanting to get a big white fluffy throw for the longest time and I want to just cover like the couch with it. Imagine just lying on your couch and you have this big cloud, you know, making you warm. And they had this at TK Maxx. It's the Rachel Zoe. Rachel Zoe faux fur blanket in king size. Mm -hmm. 